Hey everyone, we are currently in Ontario at a new hip camp location. Now it's not a new location, but it is new to me. There's water access about 50 foot that way. There's a bunch of trees to set up a hammock. There's a fire pit right in front of me. So I'm gonna get set up and thanks for joining me. This might make a pretty good lean-to. First of all, this tent took me much longer to set up than I care to admit. I am very lazy when it comes to tent setups and this one takes some kind of care because there's a stove jack and there's a lot of guy lines going out so took extra time to set it up properly. Now I'm actually going to set up another tent on the cot. Reason for that is I don't know this area, I don't know if there's mosquitoes, spiders, ticks, mostly ticks. So I am going to sleep inside of a mesh tent and yeah, just figured I'd let you guys know why there are two tents here today. I assume you guys are as tired watching as I am blowing up these pads, so got a new little gadget. I think I have the right adapter, but this one will fit. This is also not the sleeping bag I plan on using today, but I think I left the stuff sack for my sleeping pad inside this bag. I tend to take all my small stuff sacks and put in the biggest one, so I have a feeling it's at the bottom of this one. I haven't been able to find it for about two weeks, so convince it's back here. I doubt I left it. Last time I saw it was at the bushcraft shelter. Pretty good at cleaning up, so convince it's in here. 
There you go. I think I have my pillow. There you go. I knew I knew they were in there. In case you guys have ever wondered what the gloves are for, the edges of the stovepipe are actually really sharp, so all these stoves have a pair of gloves, and I suggest you wear them because it is quite sharp. Now that the stove is set up, I want to talk about one thing. Last time I used this stove in this tent, I got a few comments saying that the stove was too close to the tent. And looking back at the footage, it really looked that way, but I promise you I would have never lit a stove had it not been at a safe distance. It really did look that way on camera, and if it were me, I would put the stove jack a bit closer into the center than where it is there, but I assure you it's safe. I'm going to show you guys how far it is now. It does look close on camera, I admit that, but it's at a safe distance. So here it is there in the corner, and I admit the back end looks like it's pretty close to the tent, but if I stand up... So there's there's plenty of distance there, I just wanted to point that out, because on camera it really did look like it was too close. Even when I was looking through the footage, it really looked way, way too close, but I assure you, it's safe. Alright, time to gather some firewood. Now we are at a campground, so I'm not allowed to just cut whatever I find. But the owner said there were some pre-cut pieces at some of the campsites which I was allowed to take, so... Gone for a little walk. I think I saw some on the way in, so... We'll grab a few. I brought the Teton bag to throw them in, and... You know, it won't take too much. I'm not, I'm not gonna make a huge fire, but... You have to make dinner and stuff. Some over there. I did say that I shouldn't be gathering any wood, but I'm sure a little branch clean if they don't mind. I have enough for that. I do have two of these for my stove, one for at night, one for in the morning. I'll get a fire started now and then start making dinner. Dinner is a maple salmon 
aluminum foil thing. You'll see, it shouldn't be that bad. By the way, the grocery store I normally go to changed the location of the carrots, so I couldn't find the full-size one, so I bought these little guys instead. I am following a recipe very vaguely. I basically looked at ingredients, and I'm going from there, so really can't be that bad. I mean, it's salmon, butter, some veggies. That is also today's beer. It's St. Aubois Maple. It's the one seasonal beer I buy every year. It's genuinely just a solid maple beer. If you're ever in Quebec or somewhere you can get your hands on it, definitely try it out. Cheers guys and I want to say a huge thank you. We also hit 10k subs so that's not a number I even considered at any point. So thank you very much. I'm glad to see some people are enjoying the videos. Cheers guys.
I should have brought two. I always forget how late the sun sets nowadays. Alright guys, it's been a few hours since I'm outside, the temperature has dropped considerably. It's going to go below freezing tonight, which is why I have the hot tent. I'm actually really cold in the sweater right now, so I'm going to clean up camp, bring my cooler back to the car. My Jeep is parked about a minute in that direction. So bring the cooler back, I do have a jacket there, I'm going to bring that, let the fire go out, and then I will see you guys in the tent. Alright, starting to warm up in here. I will probably use a second log as well. It's supposed to get even colder in about 2-3 hours, so I'll probably throw in the second one then. I'll make my breakfast on the campfire outside. I did bring a breakfast this time, something very, very basic, just some oatmeal, but it's something more than usual. So I'm going to lounge around a bit before I get to bed, and I'll see you guys in the morning.
So that was a pretty cold night. It wasn't that cold, it went right, right below the freezing point, but because the day was so warm, I was not ready for that. So I actually restarted the stove for the first time in the middle of the night and got it to bed around 8 or 9 a.m. That's when the temperature sort of warmed up a little bit. It's pretty rare that I sit around and have a breakfast, but once I leave here, I'm going straight to work, so I'm in no rush to leave. And yeah, I'm going to eat this, slowly pack up. completely forgot the whole point of me bringing this tent today was to talk about it a little bit. I didn't get the show last time I used it, I was in my backyard and I just didn't want to film in my yard for privacy reasons, but I can't today, so let's go take a look. So there we have it, it's the One Tigress Tegumen tent. And there's not a single solid pole or anything that holds this upright. It's a guy line. One mistake I made though is there are three loops right here. I should have attached those into the line, but it is fine as it is. There are six guy lines, three on each side that hold it tight, three tied points on each side, and then one on each end. There's nothing solid about this tent, it's just tied down. And let's go over to the other side. There's a door on each side, by the way. This side has the two stove jacks. There's one a bit lower there, there's one higher up there. I did put a piece of wood, you can do this on each corner if you want. I put it there because I wanted the least movement for the stovepipe and then I use these trees to my advantage but yeah it's a pretty unique style of tent my one con is that there's no vents so it does get a little stuffy at night and I did have to open up one of the doors a little bit at one point but there's tons of space this is an oversized cot from Teton and they're one person Vista tent and yes they're meant to be set up like that there's also enough room for at least a table, a small table, a chair, maybe two chairs here with the stove. Plenty of storage space under the cot. This is actually a really nice setup. And yeah, I just wanted to point that out. It's one of my favorite tents. I really don't like setting it up just because I have no patience setting up tents. But if you do, it's a really cool option. And in case you're wondering, no, I am not affiliated with them. I just like their quality per price for budget aspect. I like to rotate through my tent, so I have a hard time spending 500 plus dollars on a tent. So something like this, I think cost me around 200. I think I got it on sale on Black Friday. So I could be wrong about that, but I remember being really fair the price. And for that reason, yeah, I really like One Tigress for, for those kind of things. They do have their flaws, they're not the worst, they're not the best, but for me, they tend to do the job. And I just wanted to say that I'm not affiliated. I just genuinely like their products. And with that guys, I'm gonna clean up and get out of here. Cheers, and thanks for watching.